the project and I'm representing Gilmore Community School and I would most like to take control of alcohol abuse in our area. What exactly are the main problems in your area guys alcohol? Is it the people who are taking too much of it or the people who are using illegal substances? Or it's it's both. Um, it's like, you know, it's mostly young people that's taking alcohol as well. Everyone takes alcohol. Nearly everyone. Um, you know, like a lot of young people are kind of taking alcohol and it's basically no use cafe, there are 13 pubs in Stillmore. If you're not if you don't do sports, you know like there's really nothing to do on the weekend. And um, so that's a huge problem. We also did a survey and we found that 21% of fifth year and leaving fifth have actually experimented with illegal drugs. So just out of interest, uh, how did Vegas done more to have 13 pubs? It's um it's quite small really and like it's not you couldn't call it a town. But it's not really a village. And yet it has 13 pubs and no youth cafe. It has 13 pubs and no youth cafe. But it does have a rugby pitch that's being redeveloped and a game of fish. Oh, and a massive scoop somewhere. I'm Jason. I'm Rory. I'm Tina. And um, if I could take control of one thing, I'd need the culture revolution to take over the world. Oh, so who would you be leading in this cultural revolution? Cochis. 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 Yes, bloggers. And why do you think that they need to take over the world? Because they get so much slagging from all the city people. And, like, just... But then there's a danger then that just like Cochis will slag people then. We're just a lot more Cochis and there's some Twitter stuff. Twitter out. Yeah. Like that. Well, how have you enjoyed your days so far? He was good. Like, we met a lot of people. Um, we met him. <laughs> and so have your has your stall got a bit of uh got yeah, a bit we of had a shopping plant yesterday and nobody came. Oh, so yeah. I suppose that got a lot of people in anyway. But nobody came to Diego's not here. And did people take any notice of what you're actually doing? Well like, a lot of people did ask about about fair trade shopping. So you're selling fair trade or you're uh, making We're awareness? Awesome. So are you hoping to win anything today or? Um I don't know. We got some um, voting tickets for like Hi, I'm Hannah Dorgan from St. Mary's High School Middleton. Hi, I'm Eve Farley from St. Mary's High School Middleton. Hi, I'm Eve Pullen from St. Mary's High School Middleton. And if we could take control of one thing in the world today, then we would want everyone to have an open mind about everyone's individual opinions and what they want to do with life, like their sexuality and everything like that. We'd want everyone to have an open mind and accept you seem to have, just looking at your stall here, you seem to have some fairly startling statistics that that's really not the case at the minute. What sort of, what were the most shocking statistics for you about people not having an open mind? Well, we found that a lot of suicides can be attributed to homosexuality, a lot of male suicides, family members physically assaulting people, and schools not having any anti-bullying against homophobic remarks and all this, they don't have anti-bullying campaigns to combat it, so if they could just all improve on that, then... Have you found that the people coming to your stalls have been open-minded? Have you got much uh, conflict or anything? Half and half. A lot of fellas are like, shame on you and all this, so... But a lot of people are like, delighted or congratulating us for taking it on. So overall, has it been a good day for you, or a good few days for you all? Yeah, it's really nice to see which one. What have been your highlights of the, of the last few days? Um, Did, you get, did any other stalls that you liked yourself or did you saw did, did a lot of people come here? We had to talk to them a lot. We met loads of new people that's been all over the country. Do you think you'll keep in touch with them? Some of them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it at that, I think, will we? <laughs>